So Bill, we know that social media these days is playing a key role in terms of personal branding, putting yourself out, you know, telling your story. But in your opinion, how much social media is playing key when job seekers are searching for their jobs? Well, I think it's a really important uh, factor when it comes to uh, applying for jobs. I'll just give you an example on our, our agency. Um, you know, we're a creative agency that really is made up of project managers and specialists. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a, not only important that the people come with the right skills, but we're also looking for chemistry and fit. And uh, we're not looking that everybody looks like us or sounds like us, but we're, we need to know enough to be able to say, yeah, they would fit well. So uh, you think about most agencies and, and companies hire by starting, say, submit your resume and a cover letter. Well, that resume and cover letter is going to show a skills fit, uh, going to say, does it match the, the different things we've set in the job description? But ultimately, an employer, as a part of the research, is going to be looking at your social media. Mm -hmm. And just remember that the answer to confusion and, and gaps is always no. Mm -hmm. Uh, an employer is going to make a, a, such a critical decision. They're going to pour thousands upon thousands of, of dollars into training you, of onboarding you, of bringing you on into their company. And it depends on the size of the company. This is a great risk for them. Yes. So the more they have information and they're comfortable about you, they know you, um, they, they can see how you interact, especially if um, you're going to be interacting with the public. Um, it gives them confidence. It allows them to know you. It allows them to like you. It allows them to possibly even trust you because mm -hmm. you have a credible social media presence. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have one at all, you've left a gap. And it could be the gap that keeps them from hiring you over someone who's answered those questions well. Yeah. But what about the generation, as you mentioned, about COVID? A lot of times, a lot of people were working in the same industry for maybe 10, 20 years, and they were not using social platform. And suddenly mm -hmm. they are out of job and they have to enter again to the market. So what about those people, what they can do? Well, I'm going to say they're going to have to enter the, the, the contemporary times we live in. Mm -hmm. uh, um, we've had the, the COVID situation now since really started to hit around 2020. Okay. Yeah. That's a while. And uh, we have to recognize that times have changed. The, yeah. the way we present ourselves have changed. Yes. And, and if you've been out of the job market or you've been working somewhere for 20 years and your, and your world has changed, if you want to show how inflexible and incompetent you are, don't show up. Mm. Have an excuse. That's too hard. I don't know how. Well, guess what? That doesn't happen in today's marketplace. People are hiring people that figure out how. Yeah. People that show up. People that find their way. And it doesn't mean you have to be flawless and perfect. But the willingness to show that I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to grow, and I'm willing to be present is probably one of the boldest statements you can make, even if you've been out of the market or you've only been doing the same thing for the last 20 years. Show people you're flexible and ready to grow and move into the next chapter. Those are great tips, Will. I, th I thank you very much. Again, for the audience, very practical tips. Please start using social platform to show your story, to show your skill set. And tune in next time for another great question with you.